Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss about data mining. So we are going to discuss the following topics in this video. The definition of data mining, applications of data mining, advantage and disadvantages and data mining tools. So let us first see what data mining is. The process of extracting information to identify patterns, trends and useful data that would allow the business to take the data driven decision from huge sets of data is called data mining. So basically, we collect the data from multiple sources and we analyze that data in order to find a specific pattern so that from that particular pattern we can make a specific decision for a particular purpose. So basically data mining is the mining of the data from a huge amount of data that has been collected from various different sources and analyzing it in order uh, to basically have a specific purpose like let us say for an example we want to make any future prediction like the emission of carbon dioxide in uh, 2040 will be how much so on the basis of the past data we can analyze certain patterns and on the basis of pa so those patterns we can predict or estimate certain future values we, in other words, we can say that data mining is the process of investigating hidden patterns of information to various perspectives for categorization into useful data, which is collected and assembled in particular areas such as data warehouses, efficient analysis, data mining algorithm, helping decision making and other data requirement to eventually cost cutting and generate revenue. So out of all the data that we have collected from various various multiple sources, we need to find out the in useful information out of that data so that we can categorize that particular data for making useful meanings and from those useful meanings, we can again uh, specifically identify our purpose. So the data mining can be used in various areas and uh, it serves various applications to us. So let us see all these applications and other um, in different various domains. So fraud analysis, basically we can analyze the data to detect the frauds. So we can categorize the data in such a way that whatever seems uncommon to us we can categorize that particular data in a particular in a specific category and that can be analyzed for fraud detection similarly in corporate analysis we can use the multiple data for making strategies for identifying the uh, marketing competi competition and various other trends that are important for a business organization similarly in risk management so we can learn from the past data about the failures and about the success so that we may avoid any sort of risk that an organization may face because of inadequate circumstances then market basket analysis and management so basically the business organizations can make such strategies that uh, proves to be fruitful in order to generate the revenue and in order to earn the profit in such a way that seems to be attractive to the customers as well as that will be a unique sort of methodology that people will entertain. So it can be used for market basket analysis and for management purpose. Then in healthcare, in order to identify the various di uh, disease pattern, we can use the data mining in order to identify 
whether a specific disease is affecting the people of a certain age criteria and just like so then customer relationship management in which we can identify which customers are useful that is which customers are benefit oriented and which customers are not similarly in intrusion detection that is we can identify which or what entity in any network is suspicious so determining serves its various applications in different sectors including finance and banking insurance telecommunication transport education manufacturing e-commerce and so on we can analyze the data on so many different perspectives in order to identify our objective that is it absolutely depends on what kind of domain uh, for what kind of domain we are going to analyze that particular data and we can analyze and we can use such kind of strategies in order to identify those patterns now let us see the different advantages and disadvantages that data mining serves so let us first look have a look on advantages expedited decision making that is if we are using data mining tools and techniques then it may help in boosting uh, the decision making capability of any of the organization then precise forecasts so using the data mining techniques we may be very nearer to the accurate value and we may be very nearer to the actual predictions that we make then reduces cost so basically an organization can in advance take appropriate measures in order to avoid any sort of loss any sort of business loss by pre estimating the data so we can analyze the data using data mining techniques then enhanced customer experience so again we can analyze the customer behavior because of which we can identify which customers will be revenue generating for our organization similarly we have multiple advantage disadvantages also of data mining so number 1 is limitations of big data that is we have huge amount of data to analyze and sometimes it becomes very um uh, it becomes really tough to choose which data will be actually fit to analyze our demand or a need then overfitting in models that is not every data mining model suits every type of purpose so the intelligence of choosing an appropriate model for a specific purpose is actually challenging then scalability issues so data mining do serves multiple purpose for us but then again we need to identify in which domain we have to apply which kind of technique because it is not objective type analysis but the subjective type analysis which is on the which can be on the basis of ideologies which can be on the basis of probabilities and that definitely do not uh, provide us the exact and accurate values then we have safety and reliability issues as well so we do know that whenever data is collected in huge amount the data can be misused also so definitely safety is one of the major issue in data mining then reliability because we cannot be very much assure that whatever predictions or whatever sort of uh, decision we are making on the basis of data analysis will be proved to be uh, fruitful to us then skilled person to use data mining techniques so basically in order to 
utilize the data mining we one may require the expertise who may use the data mining tools in an efficient manner then data mining tools so we have multiple data mining tools nowadays that we can use also the data mining tools are very much in demand because of artificial intelligence but here are enlisted some of the tools so let us see all of them r language so basically r language is such a tool or language that supports the statistical and time series analysis classification and graphical techniques so using all of these we can use the data mining analysis or we can have the data mining analysis on multiple type of data then we have oracle data mining which supports data mining techniques namely classification regression clustering association etc so all these techniques are used under data mining in order to analyze different type of data and in different domains so basically what a different data mining algorithm it uses are adaptive base naive base k means and o cluster etc that provide us with certain values like which are very much useful for prediction purposes then rapid miner another tool of data mining that provides environment for data preparation machine learning and deep learning text mining predictive analysis etc so basically we may also train the machine to make appropriate analysis or to make appropriate decision on the basis of the data that is provided to that particular machine so machines are also trained to create such algorithms so that they are fit for the machine learning purpose and the deep learning of the data through which the machine itself would be able to analyze or to create patterns out of multiple data then ibm spss modeler so it is another tool which generates the data mining algorithms and can be used in anomaly detection bayesian networks cox reg regression modern visual interface and so on another tool is k9 which makes predictive intelligence to business then we have python which is used to train the data and data sets train the decision trees use classifiers to predict the class label for the test data so we have all of these tools that use one and other multiple data mining techniques cluster classification association regression etc and create patterns or algorithms for such kind of learning that creates analysis for the data for different different purposes then other data mining tools which are used are orange kaggle rattle weka teradata sas which is statistical analysis system apache spark hadoop mapreduce and so on so all of these tools helps in somewhat manner to analyze the data and find useful patterns out of it using such patterns we can evaluate our purpose and can make appropriate decisions maybe the current decisions or maybe the future decisions so that is all for this particular video we will discuss some other topics in the next video thank you